on this day in 1947, it was a beautiful day in Brisbane. On the Brisbane River, the commercial ship River Burdekin was berthed at number four Howard Smith Wharf. Having arrived a few days previously with a cargo of wheat from South Australia. Whilst in port, the usual jobs were divided amongst the crew, with the captain designating one of the larger jobs he'd been postponing to two young seamen. Earlier in the morning, Mervyn Yates and Ken McDonald had been sent over the side of the River Burdekin to apply a new coat of paint to the hull, a large job that needed to be done from time to time. Working away into the hours of mid-morning, Yates and McDonald were focused on their work until their attention was drawn to a man's voice not far away at about 10.15am. Looking out into the middle of the river, they noticed a man struggling in the water and shouting for help. Strangely, no river traffic could be seen for some distance up or down the river. Downing their paintbrushes and jumping into the ship's dinghy, the two men rode out to the flailing man. Dragging him into the lighter, they noted that he was clearly suffering from his dunking in the river, but overall appeared to be in good health. Although, he did look quite the sight, dressed simply in a khaki shirt, underpants, blue socks and black leather shoes. Giving the man time to catch his breath and compose himself, and wondering where his pants had disappeared to, Yates and McDonald finally asked him how he'd come to be floating down the river in midstream. To their complete surprise, the man stated he'd come off the bridge. Furthering that he'd hit the water pretty hard, it was surmised that his pants had been blasted off on impact with the river's surface. Their location on the river, near Howard Smith Wharves, had placed them directly below the deck of the Story Bridge quite a height above. For Mervyn Yates, this mystery man was not the first life he'd saved whilst employed as a merchant seaman. Still in his early 20s and having only been a sailor for four years, Yates had effected his first daring rescue in 1944 whilst at anchor in Bunbury, Western Australia. On seeing a fellow crewmate fall from the rail of their vessel at 1am in the morning, Yates had heroically stripped and dived into the murky depths, dragging his colleague to safety. Again, a short time later, whilst crewing his vessel in New Zealand, the young man was present when a young woman dived overboard from the ship whilst in Auckland. And again, Yates was first to dive in to effect a daring escape. However, during his four years at sea, Yates had not quite seen anything like the incident that was unfolding before his eyes on the current day. The bridge jumper turned out to be 42-year-old Matthias Beers, a returned soldier and married man who had recently found work as a kitchen hand at the General Hospital, now the Royal Brisbane Hospital. Since his return from conflict, he'd been suffering from nervous stability, as depression or post-traumatic stress disorder was called many decades ago, for which he had been receiving treatment. However, on the morning of the 17th of April, his malady had obviously gotten the better of him. The story bridge had been opened almost seven years previously, and Matthias had clearly earmarked the structure as a potential jumping location. Climbing over the rail, he jumped with the intention of ending his life, falling 105 feet, almost 32 meters, to the river below. Incredibly, at the moment he reached the river, something must have weakened the surface tension of the water. Matthias impacted with enough force to sustain some bruising and strip him of his trousers, but without fatal consequences or even serious injury. The two sailors transferred Matthias to the wharves where an ambulance was called by one of their crewmates, and he was subsequently transferred back to the general hospital for treatment. Matthias is one of the very lucky few to survive a fall from Brisbane's Story Bridge. Many others have not.